Welcome back to another episode with Pick Some Web. Today, I want to introduce you to a way to optimize and ensure your uploads folder from your WordPress powered website is clean. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you've had your website for a while and you've tried out various themes uh, and you regenerate your, your, your thumbnails as you're supposed to because it'll just ensure the images are properly sized and formatted for the currently used theme, um, then your uploads folder is going to get, you know, pretty large. So I want to demonstrate this on my local uh, server environment here on my desktop. All right, so I have my uploads folder opened here and I'm using the currently using the default 2016 theme. So it has five images, the original, and then the sizes that the theme uses. These are the sizes. All right, so what happens? You're going to go, let's say you, you want to try out a different theme. And I'm going to test it out on this theme over here. I'm going to activate it. And it's always recommended that you regenerate your thumbnails because you want to make sure that the images are displayed properly. So, you know, you'll go to tools. You should already have, let me just show you the plugin you should have. Uh, it's this one right here, regenerate thumbnails. You should have that. So you'll go to tools, go to regenerate thumbnails. You're going to regenerate it and it's going to go through the process. And you're going to watch my upload folder. It's going to add additional images based on the theme because it's going to be calling different sizes based on the layout of the page or post that you're on. So it does its job. This is exactly what the regenerate thumbnails plugin is supposed to do. It regenerates the, the images so that way your website looks good. It'll go through the process. It takes some time. So we'll just wait a second. All right, so you see that it, everything has been resized. So the images will now be displayed properly on your website. But the upload folder now has 11 images. Now let's say, you know, all of a sudden you don't like that theme. And you say, you know what? I want to go, I'm going to go back to my other theme. So we're going to activate it. But nothing changes in the upload folder. The same images are all there, right? So, all right, so you think, well, maybe I'll regenerate the thumbnails again. Let's see what happens. All right, so the, the regenerate thumbnails plugin did its job and regenerated the thumbnails. But you see on your server, you still have the same images. They did not change. Uh, the ones that are no longer um, active are still there. So they're just taking up space on your server. Now, why would you want to have unnecessary um, space being taken up on your server? If you're on a... You know, if you're on a limited size server, then, you know, this can quickly add up in terms of the amount of um, space it takes up. So what can you do? Well, one thing I recommend is you go and you add a new plugin. And this plugin is called, you just type out thumbnail cleaner in the search field when you're adding a new plugin. And it's going to be this one right here. It cleans up your WordPress installation by removing and regenerating thumbnails. Now note, you do need to have the regenerate thumbnails plugin already installed, or you need to install it after you install this one. Um, I already have it active, but you can definitely check out more details, install it, then activate it. Now let's use it. Let's see what happens. We're going to go here to the tools section. It's going to be right above the regenerate thumbnails often. And then you just click on thumbnail cleaner. So it's recommended that you take a backup of your upload folder. It'll save it in a zipped archive in this location in the WP content backups thumbnail cleaner. So it's recommended you do this. I'm going to skip this step because this is just for demonstration purposes. You can start analyzing your upload folder. And it's going to tell you you have 24 files. This is the space. This is the original files. Then the thumbnails, you have 340 files. It's taking up this much space. Total file size is that. And then you can go to the next step, which is to clean all thumbnails or clean based on, you know, a specific date. So I'm just going to clean all thumbnails by clicking on the delete 340 thumbnails. It's going to give me a prompt because I did not 
take a backup, which is a very good thing. It's reminding you, you know, make sure you have a backup in case anything goes wrong. You never know. Something can happen. So you always want to make sure you have a backup. I'm going to continue because this is my demonstration on my local server. So now you see in my upload folder, all the thumbnails have been removed except for the original. The original is still there. All right. So the next step from there is to regenerate. It'll take you to the Regenerate plug, uh, Thumbnails plugin. Click on Regenerate All Thumbnails. It'll go through the process again. And what you're going to see is that it regenerated the thumbnails. So instead of having the 11, now I only have five. So it reduced the amount of thumbnails on my server, you know, significantly because it removed over half of the unused thumbnails based on the size. So this is a great way to optimize your upload folder, especially if you're on a limited sized uh, server, which tends to happen when you upgrade from a shared hosting that might have unlimited space um, capability, but you know, there are limitations with shared hosting. And if you go to a VPS, you're often going to find better performance, but you will have, you know, um, you know, limitations on the amount and size of your actual VPS itself. So, you know, you want to make sure that you optimize your your uploads folder and your, your website so that way it doesn't have unnecessary space being taken. And this plugin, the Thumbnails Cleaner uh, plugin, is a great way to do that. It'll analyze your uploads folder. It'll give you the option to delete unused thumbnails. And then with the Regenerate Thumbnails plugin, you can regenerate it and therefore only the image sizes you need for the current theme will be saved on your server. This is a great way to make sure everything's optimized, cleaned, and in order. Um, once you're done with it, you could delete the plugin and you know save it for another day when you need it again. Because there's no need to keep uh, plugins on your WordPress powered website if they're not currently being used. It just takes up space also. So once you're done, just delete the plugin, but it's definitely something I recommend. Again, just go to add new, type out thumbnail cleaner, and it'll be this one right here. It's a very good, you know, um, plugin to, to use. It's recently updated within the past three months. It does work uh, with the current version of WordPress. Um, you just saw me test it and I have tested it out on production websites. So it does work. It saves you space. It's a great way to optimize your server. And it's something that, you know, we should all do every now and then to make sure that unnecessary um, images are not being saved on our server. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, demonstration of the thumbnail cleaner uh, plugin, which optimizes, um, removes unnecessary images from your uh, upload folder. And also you also need the regenerate thumbnails plugin as well. But by having this, you'll have a well optimized server, um, especially your upload folder. If you found this episode helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to, you know, to share uh, your thoughts and comments down below. And subscribe since I'll be giving you some more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you next time.